our text is 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14. Do not be unequally yoked to an unbeliever. Our heading, anything except self-denial. The old nature of ours sometimes cries out against God in matters of duty. We can do anything except that special duty of the hour. And as to that one thing we say, not so, Lord. First, there's this young woman that know according to God's word, she must not marry that young man, for she would be unequally yoked together with an unbeliever. Now, she was quite willing to be baptized, and she is heartily willing to give the money to the Lord, and in fact to do anything except the one act of self-denial, which would require for the cease from a fond friendship. Yet, my friend, I do not know what sorrow you will make for yourself if you really break that salutary rule. Second, as it is with your practice, so let it be with everything else. Our corrupt nature will dare to argue at the process of sanctification. We are glad to be delivered from dross, but not by the fire. Rebukes are undervalued. Searching truths are avoided. Faithful friends are shunned. And awakening scripture are neglected. For Colonel, Colonel Ease pleads hard for indulgence. And the flesh whines. Not so, Lord. I have known old folks object to the Lord's blessing that rather obtrusive young woman, that very forward lad, that overzealous person. Let God bless us, certainly, but not by objectionable people. Many would prefer apostles from Athens rather from Nazareth. They prefer the smell of study lamp oil to that of the fishing boats of Galilee. And application. Whenever you are called to endure trial, do not complain of the particular form it takes. Perhaps it is a great bodily pain. And you say, I could bear anything better than this. That is a mistake. God knows what is the best for his child. Do not cry. Not so, Lord. This must not be so. You must, my dear friend, bear that which the Lord appoints you, or else you will make the matter a deal worse. I pray. Father, I pray for your mercies and grace and strength to take and to handle and to deal with whatever you bring our way. For you say it's not by might or power, but by your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen.